Welcome back to Burning Over Bushcraft. Today we're going to be taking a look at the One Wind Mosquito Net made specifically for the camping or survival shelter. I've done a video on the One Wind Survival or Camping Shelter already. And this is a great shelter if you're trying to be ultra lightweight. It's a great backup shelter. And if you put this in your emergency gear, if you have to spend the night in the woods, you are really going to appreciate pulling this sub 10 ounce tarp out of your uh, bag configuring it into a three-sided shelter and you're going to be good to go for the entire evening so i kind of alluded to it but this is pretty freaking cool right here so this is a mosquito net that goes for this and it's a little bit bigger than the, than the uh, shelter itself but holy cow if you've ever been eaten up by bugs and camped in some buggy places this is like a complete game changer just watch one episode of Naked and Afraid and you will see people with welts all over them and you're thinking, okay, let me rethink my priorities here. How about I not get malaria when I go camping? And this thing is kind of new. It's not on Amazon yet. This is available right from One Wind. And this is something that is really, really exciting for me. So I've been fortunate or unfortunate enough, depends how you look at it, to camp in some pretty buggy areas. And if you're in the Everglades or if you're up in Minnesota in bug country, bugs are overwhelming. Uh, you just cannot get away from them. Your only hope is to get behind a bug net and kill all the ones that followed you in there. So being a survival guy, I can probably name you a whole bunch of reasons to have this thing with you. You could craft a landing net and help you catch larger fish or at least land larger fish. Drag this through water and you're gonna catch bait fish and small aquatic critters that you're probably not gonna be able to catch on a line. But as a guy who has been eaten alive by mosquitoes, I could care less about any of those reasons. This thing, for what its size and for what its weight is, this will let you sleep through the evening as opposed to donating blood to every flying insect in the woods. This one's brand new and I've got a small hank of shock cord here. So I'm sure we'll be using that here in a second. Let's pull this out and see what we got. So this has actually got a zipper on it. I was expecting this just to be a crawl under kind of generic mosquito net, but that is not the case. Now this is the same, same tight mesh that all the one wind stuff has. So I've got bug nets on my hammock. I've got a zipper uh, bug net hammock as well as the traditional crawl under. And I've got the screen house as well. And I can absolutely attest that this stuff works. I've got videos of mosquitoes just on the outside trying to come in and eat us. And they cannot get through this mesh. So realistically, you would slide this on over your line because if you're setting this up and you know it's bug season, you're gonna need it. In this case, I've just got these bowlins here. So I'm just gonna slide this through. And then I've just got a random stick off the ground here. I'm going to slip this through. And that ain't going nowhere. This thing just keeps getting better. That is pretty slick. I've just got two toggles. And I can take the net off and I can put the net back on again. If I'm in that transitional period where I don't always need the bug net. Uh, if it was 100% bug season and I knew it setting up, I would just slip that net over the orange lines when I did my initial setup. So I've got stake points on the net as well. So I'm going to stake off that net inside the camping shelter. If you've ever spent the night camping under a tarp and one time swatted a mosquito, you're going to love this thing. This is freaking awesome. So I didn't realize it had a zipper door. And I didn't realize that it stakes out to the exact footprint of the tarp. So when you're in here, you're bug free, you're rain free. As long as you set this up in the proper orientation, you're wind free. There is actually a skirt along the bottom edge of this thing. So you're not even going to get bugs that really crawl up under it for the most part. This thing with an air mattress and you have no different between this, which is, you know, ounces and a full-size tent.
this is it. I am loving life right now. I am rain free, wind free, bug free. I've got more room in here than I do in my solo backpacking tent. Uh, it's my backpacking tent's got like a taper to it. This doesn't have that. It's super lightweight, easy to set up, and this uh, bug net is really something that opens this up, and I can use this in middle of summer, spring, early fall, when the bugs are just out there killing you. This is going to protect me with no problem. So if you're expecting much more than this, there's probably like a Winnebago dealer somewhere close to you. Maybe you can get like a Class A motorhome or something. But, I mean, what else you need? I can sit up. I can get dressed. I can be bug-free, rain-free, wind-free. Uh, I'm going to try to rig up some kind of a porch with this using what I've got. And if I can do that, then I can cook outside in the rain, retreat back in here and eat. If the bugs are bad, I can eat in here and just kind of poke a hand out and flip my food or uh, make my coffee in the morning. This is, this is pretty darn nice. So that bug net is pretty cool. I have nothing bad to say about it. It's large, it's larger than the shelter itself, and I don't care. It's light, so I don't mind carrying it. If I can sleep through the night in bug country, or just eat or drink without slapping freaking bugs off the side of my head, I'll carry damn near anything. And that is a little bit bulky. It's maybe the size of a softball. So it is larger than the shelter, but it's worth the size. The weight is nothing. Uh, I have shot cord with this as well that I did not use. And this is a pretty taunt setup right here. So if your setup wasn't quite as taunt, I would use that shot cord and kind of weave it in and out. I haven't encountered a need for it, so I haven't really used it yet. I would definitely keep that in the bag. Uh, but just using a couple sticks, I was able to set this up, a couple sticks and my stakes to set this up using that shelter. And if I knew I was setting it up ahead of time, I would just run my orange cord through. And then when I take this down, I would leave the shelter and the bug net all in one tight unit. So let's just skip ahead with the argument in your head. You need it, you're gonna get it. This thing is that freaking cool. Use my discount code, use my affiliate link, head over to One Win and get yourself one of these. Now this net is not available on Amazon. The tarp shelter is, the emergency shelter is, but the net is not yet. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just too new of an item or if you don't plan on carrying on Amazon, but you can head directly to One Win and get both of them that way.